Fango Tiger. Um, we do have two white tigers in their back of house enclosures at the moment. He is the naturally occurring colorful pick for Bengal tigers. Our white tigers have a recessive gene called racism, which makes them white instead of orange. And this is a naturally occurring um, genetic uh, process, even though it is very, very rare as well. Only about one in every 10,000 individuals is born white. <laughs> we do have more space towards the back of the enclosure as well, if you guys would like to come and view. <laughs> so when y'all are ready to exit, you can make your way off to the gift shop to the left. When you exit through the gift shop, you can find our stingray touch paper. You can touch our stingrays. You can also make your way outside to all of our rides. We can find our shark trains so and see all of our sharks. Birds and deer. Really anything that they can get a hold of, but they are always going to eat raw meat. Oh my gosh. Our tigers get about 10 pounds of meat a day um, for our males and then 8 pounds of meat for our female. In the wild, they can eat about 80 pounds of meat in one sitting. It's much harsher out in the jungles of India, so they don't know when their next meal is going to be. If they make a nice big kill, they are going to eat as much as they possibly can. And usually this will sustain them for a couple of days. We do give our tigers gorge days and fast days as well. So gorge days is where we give them much more food than they would normally be getting. And then fast days is where we get much faster. This is just to emulate how we like I mentioned earlier, Apollo is a Bengal tiger. This is the most common tiger that you see in zoos and aquariums. Also in the wild, they have the most numbers of all the tiger subspecies. They have about 3,000 individuals in their home range of India. The other tiger subspecies are not doing as well. They do have a couple hundred uh, individuals each, and their ranges have reduced very drastically due to uh, deforestation and human encroachment, poaching, as well as another big problem for these guys. Luckily, there are a lot of measures in place to help them out in the wild, especially at AZA accredited facilities like us. Part of being a part of the ADA is participating in the species survival program. So while Bengal tigers are not part of the species survival program, other subspecies like the Malayan and the Sumatran tigers are. Part of the species survival program is comparing genetics between individuals in different zoos and aquariums and pairing them together just to create a nice healthy gene pool for future reintroduction into the wild. Tigers, well tigers in general, are one of the few cat species that does enjoy being in the water. Um, especially in their tiger that just came out into the enclosure is Apollo. He is our youngest tiger. He is about three years old and weighs a little over 400 pounds. He is more of the orange type, which is the naturally occurring color for the Bengal tigers. We do have white tigers here at the aquarium. Um, they are not currently on the enclosures. They are much older than Mr. Apollo, so they like to spend their time sort of in their quiet back of house areas. We did have some food oh, items out for Apollo. Yeah. No, it was, he had probably already eaten them. That's usually the first thing he goes for. 